this is a video that's probably not going to be making me a lot of friends, but I wanted to talk about this before I go watch Black Panther. I'm literally about to leave in 30 minutes to go watch it. Um, I'm not excited about this movie. And the reason why is not because I think it's going to be awful or I'm going to hate it. I'm going to go into that. So let's start with my experience with Black Panther. Um, Black Panther was not really a movie that when it came out, I was not crazy about every Marvel movie. I just kind of went to movies, you know. And I liked the first Black Panther more than I thought it would. I really liked it. Then as it sat with me, I never wanted to rewatch it or think about it ever again. It was just a very generic, bland movie. And it was whatever. And then 2020 came. And like most people, I was shocked when Chadwick Boseman died. However, I did not have the same reaction to him dying that a lot of people did. Um, I was actually very frustrated. Here's why. Chadwick Boseman is a fantastic actor. He is so good in so many movies. His worst movie, though, is Black Panther. It's his worst movie. And so you're seeing all these people going around, talk about how he's one of the greatest actors when they've only seen him in one movie and it's his worst performance. And so that just frustrates me because a lot of people are praising this mediocrity, this garbage. And I'm not even to say like Black Panther is a garbage movie, but the writing for his character in that movie was garbage. Can you tell me what his arc was in that movie? What that character went through? What that character dealt with? Like, I I know there's the arc about his character, uh, not, a, not his character, Wakanda as a whole opening himself up to the world, right? Interesting arc, cool. For the most part, that character doesn't really learn or grow that much. Most of the focus is put on the villain, and that's a cool, nice part of that movie. I like Michael B. Jordan's performance as the villain in that movie. Cool. Best part of that movie. And that part is actually still memorable today even though I don't remember the most of that movie because it's very forgettable. And so I've been frustrated with this death for a long time. And then you put out this trailer for it. And the trailer for this movie, not an awful trailer by any means, but you're seeing people like, I'm crying. Because they show you this funeral, but Chadwick's dead. You know, you see his face. And I'm sitting here like, okay, but are you sad because the actor died? Or because the character died. Those are very different things. And people are not distinguishing this part of this movie. You know. Do you want to watch this movie. To clear up your feelings for the for the actor. Cool. I understand that. But you, do, you can't praise a movie. Based off. Alone the death of this actor. Or all this shit. You know. It just feels very wrong to me. Um, I, I'm a guy who always says Marvel's overhyped. And this is one case where it's the most disgusting overhype where it's like using the death of a person to to not be critical of something that they should be critical. Of. If this movie isn't great, I'm going to call that out. I'm not saying it won't be great. I hope it's great. I'm going to go watch it, obviously. You know, I hope this movie I really enjoyed. A lot of people didn't like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Guess what? I liked it. Guess what? A lot of people didn't like Thor and Love and Thunder. I liked it. A lot of people didn't like She-Hulk. I liked it. So maybe I will like this too. I'm not saying it's an awful movie. I haven't seen the movie. But what I am saying is because of these overreactions to a person's death, while very tragic, while very sad, I at, at one point felt that sadness, right? Because again, Chadwick Boseman, fantastic actor. And not in Black Panther, though. And it's not even like he was horrible as the character. I actually really liked him in Civil War. I really liked him in Infinity War. I just I just feel like when we're looking at the situation, we should be more critical of the film. And, and you know, we can talk and address the part of him dying in a more healthy manner than just blindly praising it. Just blindly replacing this garbage, you know? I understand where people are coming from. However, I do think there is an overreaction. We need to pull ourselves back. Allow ourselves to actually process the movie that we're watching. Without the death of Chadwick overshadowing the movie that you're watching on screen.
that's just my thought process with this. You know, I think that is the best way to put it. I, this was a video that I never... I, I, I've actually had this thought for a while now. I just haven't wanted to make this video because I think a lot of people are going to get very negative and very angry at me for this video. But it's like, hey man, this is just what I gotta say. Because I think that, oh, you know, Marvel hype train's coming in here and it's not healthy.